think that this is a sort of rich man's hobby. But this man is a full-time doctor. Oh, yes. How do you fit it in? Well, it means that when you get home in the evening, instead of sitting down and watching television, you get your overalls on and you get out here and I'm usually machining, making parts. Look at these hands. Look at these hands. <laughs> these hands cure people. Yeah. Look at them. Ground well, dirt. Oil's not dirt. It really goes back to 1969 when it was in an auction and we knew it, we'd seen it go through the auction and um, my father had seen it then and contemplated buying it but it was a bit too expensive um, and we knew the person who bought it and he's a scrap man from Mule called Mr Hardwick and I just came had a little bit of cash available and um, approached the gentleman and he agreed to sell it to me because well nobody had, had it going and it hasn't really worked properly since 1915. Thank you. I mean, you get you get married. I mean, they expect you to live with them anyway, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Giving the secrets away, old. Right. Flash right. me down. Right. We're ready. Oh. We're ready. No seatbelt. Sorry. Any free women? More or less. Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> you don't have a long break. No break from what? the wheels. What? You tell me that now. <laughs> Well, I've been driving tracks engines with my father um, since I was um, 10, 12, and that sort of age. Um, and so I've always played with steam, and then he had steam lorries. But I've always fancied these steam cars, and the whites are the hardest ones, they say, to get going, so I won't fall away. It's really the sort of showman's car, rather than the, the Stanleys are a little bit more Ford compared with this, a bit more of the Rolls Royce engine in the market. How old is this one? 1908. With all that heat and glowing pipes, I was, to say the least, a little surprised when Bob Dyke told me that the steam boiler is actually powered by four-star petrol. But this one has my heart, and do you yes. know why? There's one very good reason. Why? Because you can warm me up past you, like, in the back. <laughs> Yes, under the seat. You did, didn't yes, you? Yes, we cook, we cook it under the seat here. We've got a, a nice little, we've got a floorboard under the seat here, which is quite warm. Yeah. And under there is a nice stainless steel boiler cover. And you can slip your pasties on there and cook them beautifully. <laughs>